time to read. Chapter 23 Flute's been wondering when he can go running again, Tub said on the phone the next day. I think he misses Atlas. Yeah, I think Atlas misses him too. So should we come over? I know the sled dog school is done, but I'm wondering if we can maybe hang out this Saturday. I was going to suggest it. I have something to talk to you about. As soon as Matt hung up, he phoned Alex. He hoped this idea worked. Saturday morning, Alex and Tubbs arrived in the yard as planned. The dogs knew their cars, so they didn't even bother barking, but they ran around in circles, eager to get on the trail. Meeting in the barn first, Matt said. Alex and Tubbs shrugged and followed Matt. Here's the thing, Matt said, once they settled in the barn. I've got clients who want to sign up for sledding lessons, but I can't do it alone. I'm looking for some business partners. If Motorhead started with just two guys in a bike shop, Matt had a good feeling about three friends and a dog team. Tubbs and Alex glanced at each other. These partners, Matt continued, would both need to be junior musher graduates and be obsessive about outhouses and sometimes need to quote Latin subspecies. Do you know anyone like that? Tubbs waved his hand. Hey, I like outhouses and I'm a junior musher. Alex met Matt's eyes and held out her hand. What's the pay like? Matt shook her hand. Terrible. I'm in. Me too, Tub said, hopping up from his seat to do a little jig. Matt shook his hand too. I can do the book work, Tub said. I'm good in math. Matt gripped Tub's hand and stared at him. What? If that's a bad idea, I don't have to. I just like doing problems. I know you're good in math too. Can I, can I have my hand back? You like problems? Matt couldn't believe it. He could have asked Tubbs for help this whole time. I just play around with them on my computer. I love numbers. But if you don't want me to, that's okay. I'm just happy to be a partner. Our own business. A dog sledding business. He hopped at the end of every sentence. How about you teach me how to solve math problems and we can do the book work together, Matt said. Deal! Lily burst through the barn door, trailed by the pups, tussling with Bandit. Did I miss anything? What are you talking about? Can I come? Matt grinned at his sister and felt as if he finally understood the advice from a sled dog poster. This was his pack. It felt good to work as a team. Who wants to go for a run, he said. And that's the end of Sled Dog School. Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed our book, Sled Dog School by Terry Lynn Johnson. Take care and have a wonderful summer.